Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's time for more Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. I'm Revelator Skelvin. So first order business, I actually need to check on something. I'm oh, doing 16 tons, okay. So I am actually selling clothes, jeez. So I just don't have all that much money. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. We've can like, I've been uh, letting the game run another couple years that it took to build the city. We're up to 4,500 people now. You know, 81% education rate. Things are great. Uh, the crime problem has been solved. Mostly. Yeah, not too bad. Could always be worse. And things are actually starting to get better. Uh, I still have definitely some waste problems. Definitely have some waste problems. Need to work on that. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's make that the first thing I deal with. Uh, do this, uh, yeah, it's a road depot. The problem is if I want to deal... I'm not sure how I want to handle this, and this is kind of part of the problem. As I start getting uh, waste farther away, what I started doing is using uh, the Model T's. Because, generally speaking... The Model T's, you know, as waste cars go, actually can move at a reasonable speed. And generally speaking, I've been trying to get things that can move at least 50 kilometers an hour if they're going between towns, because otherwise they create traffic problems. Oh, do I have more shit I've missed? Maybe. Hang on, what do we got for waste? Waste truck? 1929 garbage truck. Oh, damn, it can do it. 36 clicks. Four tons. Uh, you know, that's not bad. You know, that's not bad. Alright. It's also way cheaper than the waste hulls. Alright. You know what? Very well. I'll get a couple of those. At some point, I'll get around to processing waste. That'll be good. So, this place is uh, actually now more or less fully operational. Uh, and it's been slowly producing me all the construction material I'll need. Slowly. And also, it's kind of struggling to do the whole waste thing. <sighs> There's always something. There's always something. So, I'm pretty sure I have... Yeah, I've got like six friggin' Model Ts running this. Uh, alright. Yeah, get going. Alright. We can export a little more waste out of this town now, and hopefully that'll help. Slow and steady. We'll, uh, we'll get there eventually. I just gotta keep increasing it. Uh, I don't know if I showed this, but I actually ended up, uh, moving the construction sector down here for the most part. My fine collection of vehicles. I also had to get, uh, another vehicle repair depot down here. Which, I should probably start making a real repair depot soon. Yeah, nothing to repair now. Good. You're at 3,000, right? Alright. But yeah, no. Slow and steady wins the race. Uh oh. Let's start productions. Okay, it's just the heating boilers. Ambulance did not arrive. Alright, to be fair, I do think the ambulances here are actually horrifyingly overworked. And they have they're up to like Model T ambulances too, so they actually move very fast. I'm not really sure what to do about that. Maybe I just need a second hospital? Or maybe I just accept that things aren't, like, perfect. You know, 95% is good enough. Uh, hey. 
pretty sure I have a medical thing out here, right? Did this ever do research? No, it didn't. Perfect. Alright. This will reduce the departure of ambulances by 20% in total over these two researches. I recognize that increased birth rate actually only lasts a year. He has a 1929 dumper. Nice. Alright. Yeah. Uh, the ice boxes need to be replaced for sure. See, this is what I mean by they cause traffic. That's kind of a problem. Alright. Well, let's uh, let's actually talk about vehicle replacement. Refrigeration. Yeah. So, unsurprisingly, I have the steam-powered ice box. Do I have anything better now? Well, I have the Gaze. It can do two tons. Yeah. It can do 36 kilometers. Ah, that's why I've never replaced it with the T ice boxes. Because they can only do 35 kilometers an hour and also can only do 45, like 0.45 tons of meat. Alright. How many do I have? Four of them? Honestly, that's not too bad. Consider it done. Apparently it cost me an extra 40 grand to export those trucks. Yeah. I really should probably develop some sort of scrapyard, shouldn't I? Because I, I haven't moved everything yet. Uh, what else do I need to move? Taurus excavators. Alright. I guess it's the thing I don't need to move anything else. Although probably having some more excavators and cranes would be a good idea. I don't know. You know, we have some improved other things. Do we have, um... Gaz 29 cranes or anything? Yeah, so not really. Nothing to upgrade there. That's good. So, there is something else I meant to talk about at the start, but then immediately got sidetracked, which is that the rate that the episodes of this come out is going to slow down fairly dramatically. Uh, because they take forever to record. Remember that it's about a year? Uh, about, or rather, a year is about an hour. So, it took me four to five hours of uh, waiting, mostly, honestly, to get things uh, running here. Which blows. Yeah, it's not great. Uh... Where the heck are those garbage trucks? Honestly, they probably could be anywhere. <laughs> yeah. So, like, while I'm doing my best... And honestly, like, I'm going slowly and methodically enough that I am actually doing really well. You know? It's still gonna take a little while. It's still gonna take a while. Uh, that said, I do think we need to kind of continue expansion. Uh, the one, like this, this city, I swear someday I'm actually going to build, you know? I swear. Uh, and I actually have been considering it, because the thing I need now, like the last construction material, is steel. Now... The oil field steel plant might be a really good uh, grab for me because I do have a lot of easier access to oil than I do um, coal. Iron, I'm just not going to get. Like, there's not really any way to get it. So I've been thinking about that. 
An oil field steel plant would potentially be very good for me. Mm-hmm. Just a nice small oil field steel plant. Bigger than, or better than, like, this massive honking steel mill. It'll do fine. Mm-hmm. The main important point is I'd have to still import the iron, which I'm debating about how to do. And one option I do have is it might be time for the railroad. Okay, where the f are my exports? Seriously. What's, what, what is going on here? Like, 21. Or, uh, I guess the exports are handled by the export depot. Alright, 20. I guess it's just taking a little while for it to build up a large enough thing to send out. And I figure meat would be... No, I think I stopped exporting meat, actually, because it was they were causing problems. I've all, I, uh, I did learn a little bit more about the meat problem I occasionally run into. Um, and, yeah, we're making progress. Uh, how about, actually, this gets demolished instead. But reconstructed. Uh, and I'm no longer using uh, the meat storage. And I'm not sure why, if it's like the Tudor Market or whatever, but it seems as if the meat storages do not actually push. Probably to like five. Don't take all the workers in the city, please. Too late, but oh well. well it's at least fast. Zoom. Done. Alright. Uh, where basically it's not correctly pushing. Uh, and basically, meat will only overflow, and meat will never get taken out of the meat storage and put into the Tudor Market. So, basically the meat storage does nothing. Other than create a useless buffer that I have to fill up before meat flows into the market. So, that's not ideal, but oh well. <clears throat> Honestly, yeah, I've got the Red Star Monument, right? So... I don't even think I need this anymore. You know, I'm actually freeing up some space in downtown. Nice. Maybe I could do something with that. Oh, yeah. Fuck, I forgot. I built more stuff. <laughs> while I... Over the last several hours while I've been waiting. Uh, I've been play... I've been making this episode for like a week. If I'm going to be honest here. And so I apologize it's a little scatterbrained. Because I've forgotten what I've done. And with the magical power of having a communist HQ here and being able to research things, I researched the television, everyone. And so we have a shitty little Ministry of State propaganda here that's been broadcasting propaganda, which has actually made life really good. I'm really happy I decided to do this, even if it was off camera. Screw y'all, you don't get to view me finally doing it. it... <laughs> It's worth it. I, uh, I cleared out the forests and stuff and got this uh, place, like, kind of cleaned up. But yeah, no, this Ministry of State Propaganda is the most important building I have built. It is now slowly but steadily raising government loyalty above, like, 37% area that, like, it was trapped at before. And that's actually one of the most important things uh, for everything. Like, that is, that is the most, one of the most important stats. Happiness in general matters, but, uh, because there's this stat called productivity. And it is a function of happiness, health, and loyalty. And as you'll see here, it can actually go above 100%. You know? And so, what this means is that by getting my loyalty stat up, people have gone from being, like, 50 to 70% product productive, probably, to, like, 100% productive. 
And I don't even think the radio's done yet. I think the radio's gonna bring us to like 60, 65%. Yeah, something like that. So this ended up just ended up being like the one of the most important things I ended up doing. God, I'm so happy that we have like fucking lumber flowing. The lumber flows. And I don't need those stupid forests anymore. Yeah, having like a real woodcutting post is nice. Once I researched the, you know, replanting and could actually use that, it's not too bad. Okay, research program finished. Alright, I can now make a foreign uh, electric connection. Honestly, as far as earning money goes, that might be a better project than anything else I could do. The gas power plant. Like, currently my power grid is literally a bunch of fucking water wheels. <laughs> Like, I'm not even going to mince words here. I think half of my power grid over here is still importing power. Even. So, you know, since it is now 1929, maybe I should get a real electrical grid. Wouldn't that be something? It's not like it requires a whole lot of people. You know? A gas power plant? Yeah, this thing runs off of like 15 people. And, like, one person's enough for frickin' the Republic as a whole, so... Like, I can set that up here. Uh, and... Like, I would actually need, like, some fairly complicated electrical switching and all that, which would be, like, the priority switch. Which is easy enough. And, like, most of this can actually be built, like, and funded locally now. That I have the construction industry more or less complete. Except for the 200 tons of steel. Six. Remember how I was talking about how steel is my bane currently? Yeah. That's actually one of the reasons why I think maybe setting this up would be a good idea for me. Uh, a foreign power connection. Can I get up uh, by a road over here? It does not look like it. Yeah. So, we'll build a foreign power connection that will allow me to export power. We're going to get, you know, a gas power plant. Uh, we're going to need oil to, like, make it work. But that should be easy enough. I mean, we do have this swamp. Out of curiosity, do I have, um... I mean, I'm sure I do. Uh, I have no bulldozers. Okay. At least nearby. Do I have any bulldozers at all? No, I may have uh, at some point sold my bulldozers. Crap. Alright, well, that means I can't really fill in the more. Well, no, that's not true. It's just hard to even things out. Because I think I can still do race terrain. Yeah. Because I have excavators. But, yeah, I am going to need to get some oil. Not a whole lot, actually, because, like, the gas power plant only requires, like, what, 15 tons of oil or something like that? Basically not a whole lot. Uh, where is it again? Any electricity? Yeah, 8.8 .8 tons of oil. So, that should be fairly easy to get. Like, two pump jacks at any reasonable, uh, like, what do you call it, efficiency? Or quality of source? I know somewhere on this moor there is oil, and we will find it. Unfortunately, I think a lot of it's over the border. Uh... Oh boy. Maybe the, uh, the moor does not have the oil I thought it did.
All right, so we've got a uh, we've got a forty three. That's not a good start. Yeah, there is oil here, but it's uh, it's not a lot of good quality oil. All right, that is enough oil. I think. I think it's pretty reasonable of me to actually make a fourth pump jack, just to be on the safe side. Mm -hmm. moment where it's like switching over to winter my eyes just break all right uh, yeah how do I want to do this uh, yeah it should be all right yeah. now where is the power plant here Assume, yeah, too long. How unfortunate. So, about here. It will cause an obstruction. Remember, it says you have to go through the freaking hill. Alright. Well, that's why we do this slow and steady and plan. Too long. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I can shorten this pipe up a fair bit. That is four pump jacks that will connect to um, the gas power plant. Perfect. Okay, good. We're making a little bit of import money. I hate I hate to ask the terrible question though, which is uh, how much currently is it to import steel? A grand ton. So. To build this is going to require 400 grand in steel, in total, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this is pretty good. This is actually really good. Assuming I can get it going. some road connections, of course. I'm not too worried about it. Ah, oh, yes, right. What do I do about that? Well, I think the actual answer is fairly easy. I 
we'll get rid of those. Get rid of that. Okay, and then I take this switch. I press T. And spin it around. Perfect. Actually, for... I'll make life easy on myself later and put that there. Or... No, actually it should be the middle one, I think. I have to actually do math because you can do 1050 megawatt hours per 24 hour workday because fucking the game doing the math for me would be too easy divide by 24 that is 43 megawatt hours generated consistently so that's 18 per thing it's still only gonna be 36 so yeah we could have both of those connected in. And even then, with uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, and you get up to 42, yeah. This thing just barely has enough connections. Uh, if all the connections are fully utilized, we'll see. Alright. Now, how much of this can I get with a single substation? Looks good, actually. And then there's... How much of this can I get with a single substation? Alright. And we'll need another substation out here. That's okay. Alright. Gotta slowly get all of the system designed. And also importantly, we need to make sure that I can arrive to it all. Because I get no shortcuts here. At some point, maybe I'll have helicopters, you know, that can deliver cargo, which will help. But until then, no, I'm pretty much uh, on my own. I'm gonna make sure I can uh, get every single thing here going. Legally connected now. Mm -hmm. I guess I should go into liquids so that way I can press this button. Yeah, there. Start the construction of the pipes. This thing will require 15 work days. And I'm trying to think how I'm gonna. or 15 workers. No. I'm trying to figure out how to handle that. Luckily, all this will only require firefighters. There shouldn't even be too many fires out here, really. Um. I mean, I can probably just get a. Uh, I was gonna say. Hang on. The Zeppelin actually, I think, the Zeppelin has the capacity uh, to carry water. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, hang on. I have to close the minimap. Yeah. Uh, let's say I wanted to buy a new vehicle. I think the Zeppelin should be on here somewhere. Hmm. 
No, all right. Uh, okay. Hat wear, hmm. Do I not buy them here? Yeah. Or, oh, whoops, wrong buttons. There we go. Uh, yeah, fire bucket water capacity, 1,327 liters. So this can actually work as a, a like a helicopter fire department. Which is good, because trying to service this with a real fire department is generally pretty difficult. Not impossible, but pretty damn difficult. If I use some underground piping, that would probably help. Jack. We're good. Lord knows how far they're gonna have to deliver uh, material. But yeah, this is the basic blueprints for electricity, which is great. For like actual industrial electricity. And who knows, maybe I'll someday export enough that I can actually build this grid. Now, All right. Actually, yeah. No. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll let uh, the rest be in the next episode. I need to cut these a little short and actually try and, you know, make more episodes. <laughs> as fun as it is to sit around for four years and wait for everything to build. Shit's slow, yo. Uh, prisoners. Silly prisoners. So many prefab panels. Actually, hold on. How much do you cost? Gravel and prefab panels. Noted. Actually, just in general, I think I can build asphalt roads now. Yeah. So. Gotta keep that in mind. Alright. In the meantime, though, thank you everyone for watching. Tune in next time for, honestly, what might be one of the greatest, like, sort of saving graces for my game. Because, like, if I can just straight up start exporting fucking tons of power that's gonna be tens of thousands of easy export from 15 workers this is just so productive oh this should have been the first building i built oh well thank you everyone for watching i've been your blaze kill i'll see you guys next time take care folks have a good night